Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. How the heck are you? Hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, to you. All right, I'm not in a good mood. It's that mini behind me that's making me not in a good mood. And the reason is because I just did a whole bunch of work to it. It was running great. I took it outside, I was gonna hose it off, get all the chunks off, clean out the condenser and the uh, intercooler, and it died. It didn't wanna start, just freaking died. And the way it's acting, it's acting like it's not getting fuel. This ties into the subject of this video, but it's got this direct injection system, therefore it has a high, fresh, high pressure fuel pump that is prone to failure. And I just, well, maybe I'm being pessimistic, but the, the topic of this video directly relates to direct injection. Direct injection proves that fuel additives don't work. <laughs> And I know, yeah, I'm sorry, I lured you in with a thumbnail and the topic, now let's get to it. Speaking of the Mini, this, this all ties together, give me a minute. Speaking of the Mini, as stated, the Mini has direct injection. Most multi-port fuel injection systems that have been out there spray fuel directly on the back of the intake valve. They've done this for a long time. Yes, there's other systems out there that are throttle body systems and blah, 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 but Let's just talk about multi-port systems where the fuel injectors spray in the back of the intake valve, which covers a large majority of fuel injected engines. With those engines, for the most part, okay, unless the engine is totally jacked up or there's a problem with a PCV system or some other issue, like some seal, like maybe valve seals or something like that, allowing oil to get into the intake. So the engine's worn out, there's a lot of blow by, PCV systems messed up, you know, something like that that's causing a lot of blow by in those engines is what causes those valves, the intake valves, to get all gummed up. Under normal circumstances, they don't. And if you've ever taken apart an engine that's fuel injected like that, you look at the intake and the intake valves, and they're usually pretty clean. Now, there really is no way for me to prove that those people that had those engines didn't run some kind of fuel injection cleaner through them, but think about this. Back in the day, we used to clean parts with gasoline. Why? Because gasoline is a solvent. <laughs> yes, it's, you know, if, if it's in a pinch and you got some old gas laying around, well, you can put some parts in it and it will eat the grease and everything right away and clean them up real nice. Not the safest thing in the world, of course, but it does work as a solvent. I, I've always looked at fuel injected cleaners like, eh. Now I know, like fuel injectors can get clogged up and all that kind of stuff and you know, different things can happen to them and different problems can arise. Aside from the things I mentioned with an engine that you know, just gets gummed up and is just worn down. I took apart, well, I took off the intake on this engine when I had it out of the car and lo and behold, it's direct injection, which direct injection means, I should just, Put this out there. Direct injection means that instead of injecting the fuel on the back of the intake valve or through the throttle body or something like that, the fuel is atomized and injected directly into the cylinder similar, similar to a diesel. Now we still use spark plugs and all that on these systems, but that's, that's what we have. With that system, there is not fuel spraying on the back of the intake valves. And there is a big problem with not all direct injection engines. They've, they're making improvements now, but not all direct injection engines, but th it's an issue with carbon buildup on the intake valves. Why? Because there isn't that solvent, that gasoline being sprayed on the back side of them. You can dump all the fuel injector cleaner you want in a direct injection engine, hoping it's gonna clean out that intake, it's never gonna happen. There's no fuel that's gonna reach that. So if you put an additive to the fuel, hoping that it's gonna clean part of the system that the fuel never touches, it's never gonna happen. And, and that's my point with this. There's a huge market and a huge business out there <clears throat> for fuel system cleaners. I think a lot of it is snake oil, or it might be better to say that I think a lot of times that the application is misapplied. As stated, if the engine is worn out, there's a lot of blow by, things like that, and there's a lot of gummed up junk inside the intake and on the valves and all that from that worn out engine or other issue that's causing it to get gummed up. Not saying that that additive cannot help alleviate that, but that does not eliminate the initial problem, which is a worn out engine, a bad PCV system, valve seals, whatever, that's causing the oil or the, or the vapors to get into the intake and cause that buildup to happen. I guess what I'm saying is, is even if you're using fuel injector cleaners or fuel system cleaners properly, it's not fixing the real problem. It might be limping you along, okay, and the real problem might mean you need an engine. <laughs> of course, that's expensive, and, and a fuel system cleaner is gonna be a much less expensive uh, alternative. 
but it has to be used properly. And, and sometimes there's a certain amount of fuel that you have to maintain. You know, there, there's so many variables with that. And I've just never put stock or faith in, in any kind of fuel system cleaners. I just have it. Uh, other than, other than, hold on. I have these, this professional setup. And I've used this in the video before to, to move a vehicle that was dead. Uh, it had a bad fuel pump. So I basically hook this thing up. It has fuel. I can pressurize it with compressed air. Where's it go? Uh, with compressed air. And this can, in essence, be, you know, a replacement for a bad fuel pump. And I can get something run and not have to push it which is the video that I did. I'll link it for you in the description. And I use this very thing. I have used this system, I've used this cleaner, and basically I eliminate everything coming from the fuel tank and I just run cleaner through the fuel system. I found this to be effective. I, I have seen a smoother idle, better engine vacuum and stuff like that with this. But I have yet to see something you dump in your tank and suddenly the engine and everything is just fine. It's wonderful. And going back to my point about this video is the fact that I have a direct injection engine with gummed up valves like I expected to see on a direct injection engine, like I say, proves, further proves my point that, you know, fuel additives or no fuel additives, gasoline is going to clean stuff naturally. But if you have other issues, then yes, you have other issues and perhaps maybe fuel injection cleaners will help you or fuel system cleaners. But I, I, don't, I don't believe it and, and that's what I see here. I, you might have something different. Anyway, fuel injector cleaners, I think they're snake oil for the most part. And I think that if they are used, they're misapplies. I think very small percentage of the time that they'll actually have an effect. I think this works way better than anything you dump in your tank. That's my opinion. I'm sure you're gonna share yours down in the comment. Feel free to do so. Hey, if you have automotive questions not covered in this video, air at thecarguy.com. That'll be linked down in the description. And uh, there will also be other links to additional information about this video and other stuff that I mentioned. So please check there if you have questions. Check the description. Aside from that, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with my crabbiness today. I will see you next time. And I'm throwing this out there too. I had to move my Fairmont out of the way to get this car outside. And with its carburetor, it started up and ran just fine. This fuel injection piece of garbage, it's dead. Dead after thousands of dollars and days worth of work. <laughs> Fairmont, no, Fairmont's running great. Just saying, all you people, fuel injection, ah!